Hello everyone, I'm Sebastian and welcome to Board and Scale's first ever snake video. I wanted to have some content up for the reptile community to see um, because we're gonna be in NARBC this weekend, which is a huge reptile conference. I'll probably post a picture, a couple pictures here, um, but it's basically one of the biggest reptile conferences that goes on and this time it's in Dallas. So we're gonna go up there and see what we can find and try and meet some people and get some cool video. But I did wanna have something for the community members who might find our channel. So they have something to watch that's not just the board games. So we're gonna jump into the topic of this video, which is going to be our snake breeding plans for this year. We have a couple pairs that locked up already that we're just waiting on them to lay eggs. And so we'll get into that right now. Okay, so this is Mocha. She is a normal anaconda morph. So she just has her normal colorings and she has the anaconda, which kind of reduces the spots, the pattern that's on their body. But she might be hat for albino, so it's something that we're trying to prove out with her, uh, with her pair, which is this boy right here. This is Sunny. He is also a conda. He kind of looks super conda from the side, but once you look at the top, you can see those blotches where it's just a oh, wrong side, where it's just a reduced spots, but he does have them. So, um, gonna get some awesome condas from, from this pair, but we're also, he's albino, if you couldn't tell. We're also trying to prove out if, um, if Mocha herself is also, if one of her parents, if she has the recessive albino gene, because if that's the case, then we'd be able to prove her genetics with the babies. So this is her boyfriend. They paired not too long ago. And yeah, we're excited to see what they can produce. Our next girl from the second pairing is this also Conda girl who is supposed to be Het Lavender and you can probably I don't know if you can tell or not the difference She is a normal coloration. So, you know as far as we know, but she definitely has a different base color than um, Mocha does which is the first girl that I showed you guys, but it'd be really cool to see How much her babies get of this greenish influence from her But we are excited for her because she is supposed to be Het Lavender so this is gonna be a good test out for her to see if that's the case because we have her partner. Her partner is fully lavender and I don't know how well you can actually see it on the camera, but lavender gives these, gives the hog noses these really nice purples on them. And I think, cause you have different shades of the purple that they can get. I think he's a really good showing of it. It's just always really hard to capture these guys on camera. Look at his belly. But this is her boy, and we're excited to um, try and prove her out and see if she'll push out some babies that have this purple coloration to them, which is what we're hoping for. We use a calculator on Morph Market that will show the odds of what you're likely to hatch when you mix certain genetics from certain parents, which is very cool. And I'll show um, some pictures of each of their calculators so you can see the names of all the cool stuff that we're supposed to hatch. But just to go down the list real quick, we should have some condas, some super condas, hopefully some albinos to prove out Mocha's het albino um, from that first pairing. From this pairing, we should have some condas, some probably normal condas, hopefully lavender condas that are gonna be this purpley hue to prove out her recessive gene. Oh, and I forgot to mention, they are also both, or he is pot, he is het coral, which just means that he is albino lavender, or het for albino. And then Mac is het lavender and possibly het coral. So also possibly het albino from her genetics, which is really cool and I'll post, uh, all the pictures so that you can see. But yeah, that's our plans for now. And hopefully we can update you guys later with when they lay eggs and then eventually hatch. And at any rate, thanks for watching and giving this video a chance. I know it's not the normal content that we post. And if you're new here, 
from NARBC or just randomly searching reptile videos. And thanks for watching. And if you want to see some more stuff, I would really appreciate it if you like this video and then subscribe so you can come back to us. Thanks for watching anyways. Bye.